Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a very interesting exponential equation from Russia. I'm not exactly sure what the source of the problem is, but I remember seeing this in a book. Anyways, this is a very interesting problem because it's exponential. And we have sine 1 to the power x plus cosine 1 to the power x equals 1. And sine 1 and cosine 1 is in radians. Obviously, 1 is not in degrees. It's in radians. That's important, right? Great. So let's go ahead and see how we can solve a problem like this. And another good question would be, what would happen if this was 1 degrees, right? Anyways, so here's the thing. We know that 1 is less than pi over 2. How do I know that? Pi is about 3.14 and pi over 2 is about 1.5 something. So 1 is definitely less than that. So I can safely say that 1 radians is, or 1 radian, should I say radian, is less than pi over 2. And obviously it's positive, so it's between 0 and pi over 2. Now why is this important? This tells us that our angle is in the first quadrant and yay that's awesome because that's kind of like the easiest quadrant to work with so having said that we can kind of talk about the values possible range for sine and cosine right if we have a real valued angle what can the sine and cosine be well it has to be between negative one and one inclusive right so we know that if alpha is real then sine alpha needs to be between negative 1 and 1 inclusive. And we know that alpha is real, right? Because 1 is real. So what does this imply? This basically implies that, first of all, since we're in the first quadrant, sine and cosine are both positive, which is nice. So this means that sine of 1 is going to be between 0 and 1, because that's the first quadrant. Again, for the same reason, cosine 1 is going to be between 0 and 1. But remember, they are somewhat related, right? Great. Now, why is this important? Why do I care about sine and cosine being on that interval? Because when you look at the original problem, this kind of looks like a crazy equation, right? We have some irrational number at the bases, and then it's being raised to an unknown power. They're being added, and we're getting one. That's kind of too crazy, isn't it? Well, not really. If you are familiar with something, which we will call the Pythagorean theorem. Take a look. Okay. Now, you probably realized, okay, I got this solution right away, right? But what's more important is that if you look at this as a function, sine 1 to the power x plus cosine 1 to the power x. Sine 1 and cosine 1 are both between 0 and 1, which means whenever you have a function like f of x equals b to the x and b is between 0 and 1, it is a decreasing function whose graph looks like this. Make sense? Otherwise, the graph is going to be increasing. Cool. And since sine 1 and cosine 1 are both less than 1, that means our function is going to be decreasing. But you're adding two decreasing functions. What does that mean? It just means that f of x is decreasing because if you add two decreasing functions, you always get a decreasing function. Make sense? Okay, great. So what does that mean, though? If you have a decreasing function, it's going to intersect a horizontal line at a single point, right? What is the horizontal line? y equals 1, or you can call that g of x equals 1. So they're going to intersect at a single point. I wonder what that point is going to be like, right? Sine 1 to the x plus cosine 1 to the x equals 1. At this point, you should definitely remember that we have something called Pythagorean theorem for trigonometry, and that is sine 1 squared plus cosine 1 squared equals 1 because sine squared alpha plus cosine squared alpha is always 1. So what does that mean? That means x equals 2 is a solution. But since there's only one solution, that is the solution. Therefore, this equation has a single solution and that is x equals 2. Does that make sense? Okay. I hope it does. That's basically what it is. And here's a graph of our function intersecting the horizontal line at a single point. And this brings us to the end of the video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.